Hello everyone and welcome to Wervin's World. Today I would like to go into more detail about trading in Evocron Legacy. So I already touched upon the subject in my 5 tips for new players video, but I thought I would go a bit more into detail now. So let's say you want to trade something. How do you find out what it's worth in your system? Well, that's fairly easy. You press F3 for the inventory and then you click on news and information. And then you can see here what everything is worth. And for example, it's very easy to see that, for example, diamond is worth a lot because it is 169% of the base price, which gets to 1,273 credits. Also, for example, machinery here or machines, I'm not sure what it stands for, is worth 172%. So those are good commodities to trade. That's very nice to know. All right, so now that we know it's good to trade here, how do we find out what other systems would give for it? Well, then we need to go to, let's see, navigation, quadrant, and then we can click on either territory or technology, it doesn't matter. And then we can zoom our map. And then I will hover over the Pearl system here, which is where I am. And now on the left, you can see all these bars. And there's thick bars and there's thin bars. So the thick bar means what are the prices of the system I'm currently hovering my mouse over. The thin bar means what are the prices of the system I am currently in. So that immediately makes for a very easy comparison. Of course with Pearl all the bars should be the same. There is a weird, I guess it's a bug, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, with water you can see that the thin bar is not the same as the thick bar. And I have no idea what causes it. But at least for the other commodities it seems to be perfectly aligned. So basically I'm just comparing Pearl with Pearl. There seems to be some slight variations with, even within the Pearl system, because if you hover the mouse a bit differently, you will see that the prices are starting to vary. But let's uh, keep it at this to keep it easy now. for now. You can see, just as that we said already, that diamond and machinery is worth a lot. The bar is completely to the right. So that's a good, that is very good to sell here, but it would be very expensive to buy. All right. So let's say we have other goods and we want to know what are they worth. Let's say we have some textiles, for example. Those are in the yellow and uh, we want to sell them for a profit. So let's see. We could, for example, here go to Capella, where they are in the green. And you can see that um, the thin bar now, it keeps the same, doesn't matter where I go. And that is because th those are the prices of Pearl, where I am at the moment. And the thick bar is, again, the price of the system I'm currently hovering over. So, what exactly do the numbers mean here? Well, the numbers mean exactly uh, one thing. Basically, the first number is the base price of a commodity, which is the same across all systems. So food is 140 here, food will be 140 everywhere. Medicine 210, medicine 210 everywhere. The second number is the price you get for it in that system. For example, you can see here that electronics, okay, oxygen is at 85, so 100 is the base price and 85 is the price you get for it. And that's because it's not worth a lot in that system. And we can actually show that in Pearl. So we can see here that let's wait for oxygen now because that's a very nice thing because the base price is always 100, so percentages are easy to calculate. I kind of wish it would just give all the numbers immediately instead of cycling through it though. Oxygen, 100, 121. All right, let's see in our local news. And news and information. Oxygen, it costs 121 here. And that's a 121%, of course. So the base price is the first number is 100. And the second price is basically how much money you get for it in that system. And then the bars basically mean if it's green, then it's above 100%. If it's red, it's below 100% and so on. So basically make sure you buy in systems where a commodity is red and sell them in a system where the commodity is in green. So I hope I managed to explain well how trading works in this game. I hope you found the video useful and see you next time.